Welcome to the shop. I'm going to show you how to uh, change a ring gear on a Briggs and Stratton engine. I've already got the engine tore apart and uh, the flywheel off, so we'll get right into uh, changing out the ring gear and putting the new one on. So I hope you enjoy the video and we'll get right into it. So there's the old flywheel. You can see right here the missing teeth. So here's the new one. Brand new aluminum one. Looks pretty sharp. So we'll go ahead and grind these rivets off and get this installed. She's been chomping at the bit to get her lawnmower back. So we'll go ahead and do that and let you come along and see how we do this. Alright, let me get set up so you can see how I'm going to get rid of these uh, these rivets to hold this plastic gear on. Alright, there's four rivets. Two here and two here. And they're just kind of swedged over right here. Got this kind of clamped on the vise here. I think I can go ahead and just grind them riveted parts right off and then I'll just drive them through with a pin. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just got a four and a half inch grinder here and we'll just cut them heads right off. If I'm going to be able to get in on that one, boy, it's going to be close. I don't want to grind any on the flywheel because I don't want to make it out of balance. So I'll go ahead and see how close I can get with that. Might wind up just taking a good sharp chisel and cutting them off. They don't seem to be very hard. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and maybe set that right in the eyes and just see if I can just chisel that right off. We'll go find a chisel. Got a good sharp chisel here and uh, we'll see how this works knocking this off. This next yeah, one. Yeah, just a good sharp chisel. I'm not trying to do it all in one blow. We'll just kind of cut, take some taps on it. That's all it takes. Cuts them right off. That's a whole lot easier than grinding. Pretty soft rivet. Alright. So just use a good old pin punch. We'll line this up on the vise so we got some support. Run that in just a little. Okay. Now, well, I can't even hardly see where that one is when I use the grinder on it. Let's try it right about there. There she's moving. Ok, 
Okay, I can come out. One more. Let's see if I can't catch this one here. There we go. See, there they are. Just cut the head off, just a plain old rivet. All right. Now, before I move this off, I want to make sure I got the orientation of this gear. It looks pretty symmetrical, but you never know what's going on with it. Whether it's whether the rivet holes, see, the rivet holes aren't exactly straight across from each other. They're kind of offset. So it goes on just like that. See if you turn it this way, line up these holes here, see how far they are off? So we rotate like this. That's the way that it's going to go on. Looks like it's exactly the same size. So this should just lift off now. Pretty nice. Okay, and that little A is going to come towards me. Get something to dust that off with. A little bit of lawnmower gunk. Looks really good. Get a little witness mark there. There's probably a witness mark right under here. Nope. There's a little witness mark there, but that would be over by one of the bolt holes. So, we're just going to set that right on there like that. That lines up perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just like that. Brand new starter gear. The little bevels for the, or the ring gear, the little bevels so the pinion ear engages. in. Yep, just stick through. We'll get these little nuts started. These are self-locking nuts. I think I'm going to put a little Loctite on them just to, for protection. So put all four of these on. started by hand. And that keeps everything lined up. And I'll flip it over. And just widen this out a little. Give me a place to set and work. Alright. Put a kind of a drop right in there.
a little easier with this. Now we'll go ahead and put a little torque on them. Flush right out there. You don't have anything protruding to grab onto anything. Don't want to distort that aluminum gear. I'm really not clamping that in tight. It's just basically to hold it so it doesn't roll out onto the floor and break that new ring gear. Okay.